We are in a Great Depression kind of situation. It's not as bad as the Great Depression for most countries, but I should say for some of the European countries, the downturn is worse than the Great Depression. And the only way to describe what is going on in several of the European countries is depression. And that lasted a long time. And the only way the world got out of the Great Depression was World War II. And it was, the reason they got out of it was massive government spending. It was the opposite of austerity. Is what it, it was not a good reason. It w we would have done a lot better if, if we had spent the money to create infrastructure, education, technology, rather than bombs. But it was government spending that finally got us out of the Great Depression. The countries were sufficiently diverse that to share a single currency was going to be very difficult. You were taking away two of the adjustment mechanism, interest rate and exchange rate, and you didn't put anything in its place. But you were other problems. I talked about the problem of the instability of capital flows. A single market without a common banking union was a flawed financial structure. When you had a problem in a weak country, capital moved out of the country and made the country weaker. So you had a system of divergence when you needed convergence. You needed industrial policies to help the poorest countries catch up with the rich. But you had a framework that made industrial policies more difficult. You had an ECB that focused on inflation. When the fundamental problem around the world was not inflation. It was unemployment, growth, financial stability. It was not focusing on the right problem. The theory was that if you kept inflation low and stable, it was necessary and almost sufficient for economic growth. That theory was wrong. It was known to be wrong before the euro, but after the crisis of 2008, everybody should have known that it was wrong. The United States had low and stable inflation. And did we have high growth and stable growth? No, we had a crisis. So there, I could go on, but there are many of the theories that were in place at the time the euro was created that were just wrong. And they were very influential. Let me get one more. A theory that was very strong is that all you needed to do for the individual countries was to avoid big budget deficits and debts as re relative to GDP. That was the Maastricht Growth and Stability Pact. Ireland and Spain had a surplus before the crisis and a low debt GDP ratio. Did that prevent them from having a crisis? Would today, if those countries, if other countries had a low debt deficit and debt, would that ensure that there would not be a crisis in the future? No, absolutely not. And every economist knows this. And yet, the policy framework hasn't changed. So, uh, uh, the, that's what I meant by the, the structure of the euro, euro. Now, combining that flawed structure with flawed policies has been devastating because austerity you know, the basic problem in the global economy and in Europe is lack of aggregate demand. Lack of demand. The productive potential of Europe, you know, the quality of the human capital, the, you know, is, is good. The, la the problem now is lack of demand. And what does austerity do? Take away demand. Now, there have been a few cases of small countries where as Governments have taken back, have cut back, exports have expanded. But those have typically been small countries where their trading partners were growing rapidly. But Europe is a big, you can say, a big economy, and the global economy is not in good shape. So I don't know where you're planning to export. Maybe Mars or Moon? <laughs> but uh, 
you know, there's a slowdown in Asia. There's a slowdown. You know, the United States is not growing. The United States is trying to export. Everybody wants to export. But where are they going to export to? So this, and if you look at the data for Europe, it's actually quite striking. Current account balances for the periphery look better. But why? Is it because exports have gone up? With a couple exceptions, the answer is no. Exports have not gone up very much. The answer is imports have gone down. And imports, why have imports gone down? You starve an economy. If people's income, as in Greece, goes, has gone down 25%, guess what? If you starve them, they don't buy as much. And when you don't buy as much, you don't import as much. So it's a starvation thing that improve the current account deficit, but it's a beggar thy neighbor policy. It hasn't strengthened the other countries. It reduces imports, it doesn't increase exports.